Greetings YouTube guys, Sam here with the Desk Box channel and today we're going to take a look at the Incineroar GX Premium Collection box we've seen before us today. This one features a full art textured version of the Incineroar GX here in the front so it's a really really nice like ultra rare you know and also super sized version if you like the super sized version of the cards as well. So this is one of the three that they've been featured uh, you know with each one of the starter lines having the full evolution at the end with the textured promo card and this one's going to be SM38 for those wondering. Get a, a coin here and a pin, as well as six different packs. Uh, all the other boxes are pretty much the same. And the price for this is about forty dollars for MSRP if you buy it directly from the source. You should be able to get it for like around like you know under thirty dollars now. And I would give these boxes about a six point five out of ten for you know EV you know value wise. But yeah, for the different packs, you get Sun and Moon, you get two Guardians Rising from Sun and Moon, an Evolutions pack, and then a Steam Siege and Breakthrough pack in here as well. The two different uh, Litten Torcat, you know, the pre-evolution forms that come with this are hollow, so they're not, you know, reverse hollow, so it's the only way to really get these, uh, as you can only obtain them as reverse hollow in the Sun and Moon, because they're basically just reprints uh, to add to this promo. Now, outside the box, pretty standard, you know, your red Incineroar and oranges and everything, you get the little line of Pokemon here in the back. Oops. And then uh, you get a code card that unlocks all the, the promo online if you play a trading card game online like myself, so... Let's uh, hop, jump, skip into it and open up and take a little look at the contents inside. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to start by taking a look at the pin in the coin right off the bat here. So here's the coin, pretty dark red Incineroar here. Pretty good colors overall. Really vibrant red actually. So they got really good hue on it. You know, it's not off color or anything like that. And then the pin backer here and the pin itself here, we have the Incineroar. Let's get a good look at it here. Arms crossed in front. This will wiggle off and fall off over time, so just that same warning that I always give on here. Pretty well built pin too. Not, not really much fear of this unless you really smack it hard or get that tail caught somewhere. In which case, this row will not like you very much. Let's go through the cards now. And since it's really dry, they're kind of bending backwards or whatever. Uh, it's pretty much really difficult to find any of these without the cards being you know, bent in some way, shape, or form. So a little bit of moisture in the air, they should return to the normal state. So here we have Litten with Bite and Flare going up to the second evolution. And all the cards are pretty much, uh, you know, similar for like attack costs for each of the evolution lines. Although this one actually adds another fire energy instead of a colorless fire energy. And that's pretty typical with uh, fire Pokemon, but the attacks here, you know, discarded energy, flamethrower is typical for fire attacks does more damage though and then a chance based three coins for 20 for each heads so let's drop those off here and here is the star incineroar sm38 here burning slam active pokemon is now burned it does 20 damage for each of your fire pokemon on your bench and then flip a coin does 50 more damage so you can hit for 180 with that one that's pretty hefty now let's take a look at the super size version of that. It's always nice to get these. It's really awesome. It's very vibrant too, so let's go like this. Our instant roar here, 250 hit points. I can catch some of the blue hues here that they put on these. The textured art on there is you know really nice. I like the fact that you know it kind of is like residual from like when they had shining Pokemon way back in the Neo Discovery, uh, you know, the old Neo sets that they had way back in the day. So, there you go with the water weakness, high retreat cost, pretty typical of fire types, but yeah. Really nice, uh, really expensive, but that'll hit really hard for its GX attack there. So, that's the Cinnabar GX, and let's go ahead. We'll start with Breakthrough here, work our way up through Steam Seeds Evolutions, and then hit Sun and Moon. All right, one, two, three, and four. Here we got ourselves a Hoot Hoot, Remoraid, Teddy Ursa, get that zoomed in right here, Scatterbug, ask you a question, Staravia, Reverse Hollow, Seeking, actually I think there's something, oh, but there we go. Uh, 
and I think I had a glitch with the recording. So let's go back. Oh, anyway, so Sea King, Glady, Spirit Link, Cacturn, Bravery is our rare for that one. So let's just go back through the Sea King, Glady, Spirit Link, Cacturn, and Bravery is our rare. Set that down up here. I'll set Steam Siege. One, two, three, and four. Okay, we got ourselves a Mantine, Shellos, Merrill, Drifloon, C Dot, Ponyard, Reverse Hollow, Persian, Shield Shieldon, Sirlex, Spirit Link, and Yan Mega is our rare. Not looking good so far. Evolutions in our next one. Be this throwback pack here. Two, three, and four. Caterpie. Ghastly. Diglett. Rattata. Charmander. Reverse Hollow Seal. Metapod. McCoonies de Duo. That would be like a secret rare. Can't be used at official tournaments, obviously. A lot of people make funny deck saw this thing sing a song and then smack 30 damage later just randomly in the game haunter and mewtwo is our rare pretty interesting evolutions pack there okay we have sun and moon being an absolute pain in the butt to open here all right one two three four and five for these Got ourselves a Carvana, Togedemaru, Jinjo, Makuya, Caterpie, Rowlet. First of all, wrong set, Rowlet. Fire Energy, Crushing Hammer, Poliwhirl, Dragonair, and Crabdominal is our rare non hollow. Not looking good at all. Sun and Moon Guardian Rising has to pull its weight here. Let's get some good ones in this to make up for the lackluster pulls that we've been getting so far. If I can open these packs, really? I can't open this pack at all. Let me get the corner, there we go. It's gonna be a messy one to open, come on. It better be like something absolutely amazing. Seriously, come on. There, two, three, four, and five. There better be something good in this one. Lowland Sandshrew, Cottony, Bellsprout, Clegar, Lowland Geodude, Reverse Hollow Chansey, there you go, that's what it was. <laughs> Fighting Energy, Aether Paris Conservation Area, that's a mouthful. Hala, Pseudo Wudo, and oh, so, okay, that's worth it. Sylveon GX. Best card ever. Best card in the set, yep. The only way it could get better is like Rainbow Rare and, you know, the Ultra Rare, yep. That's a beautiful one. Okay, that's why it was that's why it was so difficult to open. For crying out loud. Sylveon GX. Ridiculous. Okay, that makes it an awesome box set so far. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, we have a non reverse hollow chancy now. Snow runt. Pancham. Bell sprout. Cottony. Reverse hollow whimscott. Psychic Energy, Aqua Patch, that's pretty good. Vanillish, that's not so good. <laughs> and that's Hammer. And Mudsdale is our rarest hollow. Not bad for the second one. That's funny. Uh, let's scoot you over here, Mr. Incineroar, and put that next to me. Awesome. Sylveon I pulled. It's beautiful. So, yeah, there you have it. Uh, thanks for the Guardians Rising to help uh, round that up pretty nice for a good uh, box opening today. So yeah, the Star Wars GX uh, Premium Collection box with SM38 featured as this promo card should be available now. It's just taking a while to get to it. So yeah, there you have it. Throw a like if you like the video, subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, take care and thank you so much for watching.